Update 5 on Typhoon Neo Guri. Uh, as of July the 6th, it currently has winds of 140 miles per hour, a pressure of 933 millibars. Its position is now 18.9 degrees north, 130.3 degrees east, and could still uh, prove to be a big threat towards the Japanese islands, the Ryukyu Islands, Okinawa in particular, uh, we have some concern for at the moment, and the Miyako and Yayama Islands as well, uh, where the storm could pass or strike as a Category 5 typhoon. Uh, at least we're looking at a Category 4 storm uh, moving past those islands into the East China Sea. And then we're also looking at a strong landfall for the southern coast of Japan as well. Uh, and latest models show that perhaps South Korea may, may have a little bit of a part to play in this as well. Uh, the storm le uh, seems to be going a little bit further towards the northeast with every passing model run. Uh, but there's a storm right now, Category 4. Uh, and uh, a few of the storm spiral bands over the Philippines at the moment as well. They probably won't uh, probably won't cause too much of trouble over there. Uh, very warm waters, of course, and that's going to continue all the way up to the Japanese islands, to 30 degrees or higher, um, 31 degrees in some areas as well. Uh, this is what the models say right now then, the CMC takes it just west of Okinawa Island and we also have another typhoon forming after that near the northern Mariana Islands. Uh, the CMC takes it into Japan through Kyushu and then onto the, the big island of Honshu, um, still as a typhoon I'd imagine. The GFS takes it a little bit further towards the west if I'm not mistaken, um, through the Miyako and Yayama Islands further towards the west in between Okinawa and Taiwan and then a bit further towards the north, not too far from the Korean island of Jeju and then through uh, the northern coast of Japan after that. So latest satellite imagery shows how the storm is very powerful and has been for some time now. It hasn't intensified any in the past 18 hours, uh, which is potentially a good sign for those who are in the um, crosshairs of the storm's path at the moment. Uh, or at least it could be much worse than what it is, what it may be may turn out to be. Uh, so the storm's moving towards the west-northwest at the moment. You can see an eye but very well defined, of course. The eye wall uh, thinning a little bit in those last frames towards the northwest quarter, uh, but towards the south in particular. Uh, that's where most of the storm's uh, ferocity is concentrated right now. Um, and it's quite extensive towards the south as well. Uh, but in any case, as of July the 6th, we have two remnant lows. X Douglas and X Arthur post tropical cyclones. Um, Arthur moving through Newfoundland today. Uh, Invest 96S still going in the southern Indian Ocean, and of course Typhoon Neoguri, which threatens to be a super typhoon in the coming 24 hours. So, so far in 2014, we've had 35 tropical storms form worldwide. 14 of those have gone on to become Category 1 cyclones, 74 miles per hour and higher, or their equivalents. Uh, and 8 of those have become Category 3 storms, with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. One has made it to Category 5 intensity so far. Will Neoguri be the second? Well, we'll find out in the next uh, 48 hours. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. You can visit the website, force13.com, which keeps you up to date on all the action. Uh, the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, just search Force 13 on those. And the social pages, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 on either of those. It's at Force 13 on Twitter, and they will keep you up to date um, in between video updates. You can also add Full 13 for Tropical Weather Chat on Skype if you so wish. You can speak to me personally on there. Um, so uh, you can do that if you so wish. And the next update on this storm, Neo Guri, will follow at 2 a.m. UTC on July the 7th. That's Monday morning. Uh, that's uh, late in the morning local time for those of you in the path of the storm.